after a good season, the Sens, we made the playoffs finally. We got back. Every year we're improving. But it's on to the next year where we know what we got to do. We got to improve the defense and goaltending. Our forward group is sick. We got to just keep working on that uh, defensive core. But the draft lottery lottery results, the Pittsburgh Penguins go from 6-1. to one. Toronto drops down to 2. Nashville, New York. Do we have a pick in here? I believe we have two first-round picks this year. I think we have Winnipeg and Ottawa, but let's go check that out first. And for retired players, Patrick Marlowe calls it quits. 1,248 points. Brent Burns calls it quits. Pozo, Seabrook, Matt Molson, Applicator, Brian Boyle. Any good tendies go here? Uh, goalies, no goalies retired. So the best players, Burns and Patrick Marlowe retired. Draft year 1997. Damn, 1,800 games. We're checking out our projected picks here. We have two first round picks, the 21st overall and the 31st. As it looks like the Jets were pretty good this year. Then we don't have a pick till the fourth and then two fifths. So if we check out our forward depth chart here, Barkov, Stutzel, Babson got a little bit better, 85 overall now. He was 84, 83 last year. To Chuck, I don't know what we're gonna do with to Chuck. Honestly, he's he's one of those guys that I'm not sure how we're gonna how we're gonna use him yet, but definitely a good player still, none nonetheless. And our captain, so we gotta keep him around. Josh Norris up to an 84 overall. So we definitely have a good top six here. We just need one more guy to round it, round it out. And I think Shane Pinto is that guy. Last year had a pretty good year, 52 points in 82 games. His plus minus wasn't too good, but 22 years old, he's growing. So I, I think it, he would be a perfect top six. Daniel Sprong came in, was great for us. Connor Brown, good third liner as well. For Menton, 18 points in 82 games. Not very good. I'd prefer someone better defensive on that line so we got we got a couple players on the forward depth chart but the defensive depth chart is something we definitely need to look into shabbat and branstrom as our top two defensemen bernard docker artem zub noah dobson and caleb jones definitely looking at drafting a defenseman uh strength the top four strength top six depth defense we got prospects none how about we go here we got good 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 uh prospects for the forwards for sure Top six forwards, neutral, top nine. So it team, team's looking good here. Team's looking good. And then, of course, we got Matt Murray and Philip Gusterson. And this year is the year of Connor Bedard. I mean, we have no chance of getting him unless we trade up. But he would be an unreal player. And he is going to be an unreal player. But we're, we're not going to be drafting. We're not going to be drafting uh, our good old Connor Bedard this year. I wish, but... It's just not going to happen. He's going number one for sure. Definitely a franchise potential too. And we're in the NHL entry draft in the first overall pick, the Pittsburgh Penguins. They just always get lucky with their first overall. First Sidney Crosby. And now it's going to be Connor Bedard. And there he is. 79 overall, medium franchise potential. Connor Bedard's going to be a stud. I promise you that. Let's see who the Leafs get. They were supposed to get Bedard. They dropped down. They do go Sweetland, who's a medium elite 83 overall player. Wow. Do the first five here. Golagoski, 82 medium elite. Nick, I'm guessing Nick Craig. Guess. A defenseman. Oh, he would have been a sweet prospect for us. A great prospect. Let's sim to our... Actually, let's see what Seattle gets here. A center. Okay. Let's go to our pick here. Hopefully, we can get a steal on this, on this list here. A center medium elite? I mean, it's hard to say no. It's hard to say no to a two-way forward medium elite center. A-plus competition, 11 goals. And oh, who do I... Zykov looks pretty good. Let's see Jenkins. Jenkins, I'm sure, is pretty good, but... But Ter Tarasov? Tarasov looks really good. I'm very interested in Tarasov. Risto Lyonin. A sniper. Wouldn't be a bad I bet to get a sniper, but the two-way forward, first line, it's a grinder. I, I don't think I can pass on Tarasov here. I know we need a defenseman, but Tarasov looks unreal. Maybe Ivanov, offensive defenseman though. Medium elite potentially. Medium elite potentially. Very inaccurate, but yeah, Zykov, Tarasov. Tarasov is, is accurate. 
you know what you're getting with him. A plus, 11 goals, two way forward, six foot three, 194 pounds, 17 years old too. We're going Tarasov with our pick here. Medium top six. Okay, not as good as I thought he was, but still a good pick. Let's get into our next pick here, the 31st, and hopefully we can get a defenseman. I just could oh yeah, there's Ivanov. So Ivanov is still there. I think I have to go with I Ivanov. Cole, is that Colin? No, Kalen Lynn, maybe Colin's brother. I think I gotta go with with the defenseman here. I can't, I don't have any, any more picks. So A plus, minus five, 34 penalty minutes. What is he? Offensive defenseman. I'd prefer a two-way or defensive defenseman, but let's do it. First, first round, top six. What a terrible selection. Our next pick, all the way in the fourth round here. I mean, do we? Is there any gems potentially? Because there's not very, uh, we don't got the best scouting here. But let's take a look. A center. Let's just look for, this guy played two-way forward. You know, bottom, bottom six guy wouldn't be bad. Griffith. Any other defenseman? Jopo, C-. minus. I like the, the A-plus guys. A goalie. I mean, do we take a shot on the goalie? Pierre blew in. I'm going to take a shot on the goalie here. Fourth round goalie. Can't go wrong. Medium elite. 50 overall. 50 overall is not good, but a medium elite goalie. In the fourth round, pick 100. I'll take it. We got another pick coming up here. So simulate to that one. The fifth round, second overall. See if we can get a, another little steal here. Sort by potential. Okay. So another goalie there. But uh, I don't think I want the goalie. A defensive def defenseman, a potential, very inaccurate. But let's see. C minus. I mean, yeah. C minus. Do I bring Isaac Spezza to the team? Spezzi? Do I bring Spezzi back? Spezza back to Ottawa? I mean, it's hard to say no, but we just got a pretty good goalie. I don't, I don't really feel like this is a, a good move, but. We're bringing an Isaac Spezza. Spezza needs to come back to Ottawa. He's a medium backup, 56 overall. Definitely not my best <laughs> draft selection, but Spezza's back on the squad here in Ottawa. We've got a couple more picks here. Gilroy, Duke Gilroy, A+. plus. That wouldn't be bad. Kairou, he's actually a real player. Bigger. Hmm. No, not, not very interesting. Bigger. Dodonov. Sort by potential again. The goalie's still there. I can't take him though. These are all going to be really low overall players, but hopefully we can just kind of find a diamond in the rough here. Does anyone play in an A plus league? That would be ideal. An A, a couple A's here. Playmaker, two way forward. It's two way forward. Acres. What's this defenseman? I'm going to take the defenseman. Take a shot on the defenseman always. Always take a shot on the defenseman. 70. I think that's it for the draft. So let's get to the free signs. The re sign stage here. And you know what? We're going to change some things up here. We're firing our head coach. We don't want him anymore. Let's find someone better. Our goalie coach is terrible. Terrible. But what can you do there? Let's sign some coaches here. All right. We need a head coach and assistant coach. Can we? We can't even sign right now. But what are you going to do about that? And honestly, this goalie coach has got to go too. He's terrible. Get rid of him. We're going to sign some new coaches. All right. In the re-sign stage... We got $11 million to play with here. So hopefully we don't have to offer any big contracts. Let's go through these guys. I don't want any of them. Not very effective. Tarasov, I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna let him play in the minors this year. No need to sign him, he's only 17 years old. He's got tons of time to grow. I'm gonna bring in roof Roloffs to play in the minors. Ben Dehan, I'll sign, I'll sign Ben Dehan. He can play in the minors, hopefully one day get a shot up in the NHL. Shishkanov, another guy we drafted, sign him as well. We don't want these guys going to free agency. 59 overall, not too worried. Johansson, not too worried. Eric Stahl, I'm going to let Eric Stahl go to the free market just because I don't think too many people are going to bid on him. Last year, I got him in the first game of the season, so we'll see it. We'll see what he's looking like. What's his contract, though? Two years, two mil. Connor Brown is definitely a guy I do want to bring back, and that doesn't look like a terrible deal three years but if i can get him at three years at like 2.7 that would be that would be big artem zub definitely a guy i want to bring back to our defensive core is pretty weak so bringing in zub might be losing zub would be would definitely be a blow to the team 
Is he a two-way defender? Two-way defender, yeah. It's like, you want to bring Zoo back? What can we get him for? Five years? Can I go five years? That'll bring him 32. I think that's the NH I like. 32, five years at 2.75 mil. This would be a steal of a contract. See what Zub says. Bishop. Uh, I'm going to let the young guys play in the minors. Jacob Bernard Docker. This is going to be a big contract. So we're running out of money here. We're running out of money. I might need to qualify. So we spent probably around 8 mil now. Or 4 mil, 4 mil. 3 mil, 3 mil, 6 mil. So Bernard Docker. I need a friendly deal here, Bernard Docker. Three years has actually worked perfectly. If I can give you like 3.8, take a 500k discount. Come on, Bernard Docker. Troy Terry's gonna be another tough player. Very good deal for Troy Terry. Give me five years, Troy Terry, at 1.5 mil. I don't even know if I can offer anyone. Chris Lick, don't need to worry about. Fermentin. What are we gonna do with Fermentin? He doesn't want a lot, thankfully. I think I can afford him. I can definitely afford him, I think. So if we go three, two years at 1.5, I think we can afford him. Looking at the rest here. I'm just going to sim and then we'll, let's look back into this, see who signs and how much money we have left. Terry said no. Connor Brown is back, which is huge. Fermentin. Okay, Zub. Zub. Zub does not. Or Zub does want to come back. Okay, thank God. I read that wrong. Bernard Docker is coming back. Rufus, Shistakin, Bendahan. Okay, so how much cap space do we have left? So we have four mil. And who do we need to sign here? Four mil. Who do we need to sign? So Fermentin. We got four mil. We can sign Fermentin for sure. Let's sign Fermentin. Two years. 1.25. Just sign a quick one, Fermentin, would you? Solikov. I can't believe I missed him actually. I do want Solikov on the squad. I'm going to bring him in for three years there. On that deal, that I like that. Troy Terry. I'm going to wait on Troy Terry. Okay, Fermentin's back. Solikov's back. Now we're off to Troy Terry. I should actually check the goalies before I keep going. Oh, Gustafson needs a contract. Oh, two-way deal, perfect. Three years. The league minimum, no problem. There's my boy Spezza. And then the elite goalie, Spezza. Ah, he's back. He's back, I love it. Now we're just looking at Troy Terry as the last guy we need to sign. So let's go. Got four mil to play with here. Eric Stahl is not coming back. Troy Terry. Come on, Terry. What can we... Let's work out something here. Let's work out some a deal here, Troy Terry. Just take a 50k, you know. There we, there we go. Troy Terry's back. Gusterson's back as well. So uh, we, we got 3.5 mil left. We might make a move in the offseason. We'll see. To Chuck's got a big deal. Honestly, to Chuck's kind of like, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. In the comments, should I trade to Chuck? Yes or no? He's got 8 mil. You know, I don't know if he fits in on the squad, but let me know what you guys think. Let's double check the goalies, make sure I didn't miss anything here. Backup goalie. I mean, if he wants a two way deal, yeah, he wants a two way deal. Might as well. Not going to cost us anything for that. So let's go to free agency now. Before going into free agency, I think it's good that we check out our roster, make sure make sure we got a good squad out here. So Matt Murray is on his final year of the deal, $6.76 million. So definitely freeing up some cap space after after we're done here. If we were just offering a contract extension, yeah, he wants one mil. Honestly, I might just get this deal done now. If I get him three years at 1.75 mil, be a good backup goalie. I'm completely fine with that. He does want an extension. We can honestly probably change it to lower, but that's okay. So those are going to be our two goalies this year. And then defensively, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have the same defensive core as last year. Ideally, if we can upgrade it, but we're going to have to uh, see what we got in free agency. We don't have a lot of money, so 
We might have to run with these guys. I mean, potentially make a trade. Noah Dobson is getting paid a lot of money as an 81 overall. A lot. I think I offered him that deal though, so it's on me. Uh, Bernard Docker, Branch is getting paid a lot too. Bernard Docker, 3.8. I like that. Zub, we got Zub on a great deal. And then Shabbat, honestly, is a pretty damn good deal too. So defensively, that's what we got. We can check the... I guess we can't check the miners right now. In the system, there we go. In the miners, we don't, we don't really got much down here. So Cronwall, we definitely need some depth players in the miners for defensive. And then forward, so we need 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So those are our 12 technically. So we definitely are, are, are missing a fourth line maybe. But I, I kind of wouldn't mind putting Solikov in, in the roster here. Looks like he, he could be potentially good. 76 overall, 23. Ridley Gregg is, is, is another option that we can potentially play with here. Let's see Ridley Gregg. 72 overall is a little bit low, though. Grinder. I mean, he might be good in the fourth line. Defensive skills need a, a little bit of polishing, but we can see uh, there. Uh, Solikov's not very good defensively. Very physical, very physical. 6'4", 240 pounds, power forward. I wouldn't mind trying Ink Solikov on the roster this year, but again, it all depends on what we got in free agency. We got a couple of million dollars, not not enough to make a huge splash, but let's see what we, we what, what's available in free agency first. Free agency has David Pasternak, Andre Palat, Connor Sheary, Evgeny Malkin. All these guys we can't afford though, let's... Let's sort by potential. I just want to see if there's any potential guys. Pashnak. So this guy here. I, I, this guy would actually fit in our team pretty well. This, who's this? Gurulu. This would be a player I'm interested in. This right here would be a player I'm interested in. I think he's an RFA. I don't think I'll get him, but I'll offer him a contract. He, he would fit our fourth line perfectly. 77 overall, 23 years old. I, I think he's a power forward or a two-way forward. Yeah, two-way forward. So I, I would definitely not mind having him on the squad, but he's definitely going to get matched. Isaac Ratcliffe, fourth liner, medium top six, 24 years old. Another power forward, 23. Jake Debrunsk, he's definitely a restricted free agent, but uh, I, I can't even sign him if I wanted to. And Sorella. Sorella wouldn't be a terrible pickup, but oh, an unrestricted free agent. Two million dollars. I think he's a playmaker. Two way forward. We'll, we'll pass on him for now. Let's check overall, see if there's any kind of like steals we can get in here. Yeah, there's. Is this Jordan Stahl? Yeah, Jordan Stahl. Not going to be able to get him. Two teams already interested. Four mil. It's the Sean Monahan's here. I would give Sean Monahan like. I have $3 million left. I'd give him like a two year deal at three mil. If he wants that, he can have it. <laughs> I don't think he's accepting that though. Uh, Rask, I need good potential goalies here. Wallsteed is pretty good. I do like Wallsteed. Is he a restricted free agent? He would be our starter in the minors. If we can get him, he would definitely be our starter in the minors. But yeah, let's see if we get those guys. We can't really make too many moves. We're kind of tight on cap here. Let's see if we can get those guys though. So Matt Murray does accept our little contract that we uh, that we have for next year. So if, if he ends up becoming good, that's going to be a good contract. Three years at 1.7 mil, I believe. And Gru, Grulu, Benoit Oliver, Benoit Oliver has accepted our contract, but I believe the, the Ducks are going to accept that or match it. So... He's definitely not going to be ending up on our team, but it was worth a shot. And then Wallsteed accepted the offer as a goalie, so he's definitely going to be our starter in the, in the OHL or in the AHL for us. <laughs> Sean Monahan, yeah, I don't know if he appreciates our interest. We offered him three million dollars less than he wanted, but <laughs> all good there. So Monahan goes to the Islanders. And the New Year's here, let's go! Another chance of winning the Stanley Cup. And we got uh, we got Gusterson and Murray as our, our starting backup. And Gusterson actually drew, grew from a 79 to an 81. So that's that's pretty good on the offseason after a nice little contract extension. I think we paid two years, $3 million. Very, very cheap. Three years, 775000 So 
nothing basically. And Murray's still 83 overall, so that's going to be our one-two punch down the middle in the system. Wallstead, who we just signed, will be our, our, mining, our minor starting goalie and potentially even take over if we don't want Matt Murray and we can get rid of him, depending on how Gusterson plays. If we go to the defenseman here, nothing in the system. Bend to hands there, though. We got Shabbat, Brandstrom, Jacob Bernard Docker, Artem Zub, Noah Dobson, and Caleb Jones on the squad. I'm going to send... I'm going to send Harrington down, I believe, for now. Defensive defenseman. Do we have any defensive defensemen on the team? Two-way defender for Caleb Jones. Branstrom offensive. Bernard offensive. Zub two-way. Dobson two-way. Caleb Jones two-way. So he's our only two-way defender. Or our only defensive defenseman. I would like to get him on the team. But Caleb Jones, just he's 26. He's younger. I'm going to... I'm not going to use Harrington this year. He's he's older anyways in the system. Harrington's going to be our best guy. How old is he? 28. Yeah, I'm just going to keep him keep him there. I, I got no no need for him on my team right now. Maybe changing up the coaches, we can uh we got a better morale system. Offensively, our boy Markov, Stutzel, and Batherson, our first line forwards right there. The Chuck Norris, Brown, Shane Pinto, Sprong, we got one extra guy, so we gotta make a decision. Gr Ridley Gregg actually did grow here. He did grow to a 74 overall. Who do I want to start? Ridley Gregg or Solakov? Solakov's definitely gonna get me a little bit more goals, I think. Yeah, definitely 27 goals. Shoots a lot. 65 points. What about Ridley Gregg? What is Ridley Gregg gonna do for me here? 22 goals, not bad. I kind of lean towards Ridley Gregg. And he's got better potential and younger. Wow. 5'11", 169 pounds. Not a big guy for a grinder, though. Not a big guy for a grinder. You know what? A first-round pick in 2020. We're going to use Ridley Gregg this year. But Solikov, you know, I think there's potential for him. Just not this year. Let him grow one more year in the minors. And Ridley Gregg's going to play down there with Ryan Hart. Cole Reinhardt, Gunler. Gunler looks like to be a decent prospect. How old is he? 21. Yeah, so hopefully these guys can all grow. Shishkinov's going to be playing there. So let's go check out our lines and see how, how we can uh, get the morale to, to love us a little bit here. After editing the lines for what it seemed for... After editing the lines for what seemed like ever, I got a little bit of a combination here. We're going to be uh, breaking up Barkov and Stewart, so we could keep them on the first line together, but we get only a plus one. And honestly, I might do it. I think I'm actually... I want to start out the season like this, and we'll see how they play. And uh, if, if it doesn't go well, I'll probably go something like this for the time being. I'm going to keep it like this. I'm just trying to get the morale. I couldn't really get the morale on the bottom lines. I don't want Norris playing in the top nine, but... It's it's looking like it's gotta happen. He's been pretty good though, so I, I'll give him I'll give him that. Uh, I'm, tr I'm really trying to grow P Pinto here though. Pinto is your points in five games. It's not looking good, but uh, something like this it won't even be like it, it's. There's a lot. What do you guys think? Who, who do we focus on? Or we can go Pinto here, but then we get a minus two. So like, no matter what we do, we're kind of. See what I mean here? It's kind of just see what we can get. Uh, whatever you guys think, like in the comments, let me know because I'm not too sure how we want to set it up here. But we're going to go Pinto, Stutzel, Batson plus two, which makes it 90 overall for Stutzel. Second line to Chuck. I wonder. Yeah, no, not even have to Chuck there. To Chuck Barkov and then Daniel Sprong, who's going to have an opportunity to play up the, up the roster this year. And then Troy Terry, Josh Norris, who I'm not really happy about having there, but that's okay. Fermentin, and then fourth line, Connor Brown, who I tried bringing up the roster, but it'll give me a minus wherever I put him, unless he's on the first line. So originally we had him up here, but I don't want Pinto playing fourth line. I'd rather Connor Brown playing the fourth line with Solikov, who I end up bringing up for morale issues, and then Chris Tierney. Defensively, we got some pretty good morale here. We got Batherson and Shabbat plus two. Bernard Docker, Caleb Jones, and then finally Noah Dobson and Artem Zub. And then that's Matt Murray, Philip Gusterson. 
So let's uh, let's check out our special teams here. We're gonna work these out a little bit and uh, and then get into the season. And I'd simulate a couple games to get a, a coach signed. But let's uh, before we end the episode, let's do one one little slow sim here against the Colorado Avalanche with the new lines. Hopefully it works. You never know in NHL though. First period. We score a goal, Connor Brown, our fourth line right wing, a stud. But they get two from their big dogs, Gabriel Landeskog and Nathan McKenna. We are shooting them 11 to 9, though. Second period, they get another two, Landeskog and Burakoski this time. We got one from Jacob Bernard Docker. And we're down by two. Can the boys rally? A huge penalty kill coming up. This is a long one. Did someone get a five minute major? What happened there? A power play to answer back here, though. And we're unable to capitalize on our power play. That's what's not looking too good is we take another penalty. Every slow, so slow sim that we do, it feels like we just take penalties and more and more. And we do lose this one five to two. Let's do another another slow sim there. You know, that one wasn't justifiable. That wasn't a good game from us. Barkov's playing well though on that second line. Six points in six games. I expect him to carry the load. If not, we'll definitely have him back on that first line with Stutzel as they are beast combination. First period, give me something. And Verana gets a power play goal. Matt Murray, second period. We answer back with two. Brady to Chuck and Eric Brandstrom, which is a big goal. Who scored from center ice. Interesting. Up by one goal in the third period. Let's go, let's go out with a dub in this episode. Come on. Give me a dub. Give me a dub. 27 shots for us. The Red Wings are pouring it on now. Can we get one more insurance marker? And we are unable as Ronick gets one. And then Lucas Raymond scores two goals in a minute, 30 seconds. Bernard Docker evens up the game, though, to make it 3-3. And this one might be going to overtime. And I lied. We're not having an episode on a dub. But what do you guys think? What should we do with our lines here? Should we bring to Chuck? Should we trade to Chuck? Should we, should we move up Barkov to play with Stutzel? Daniel Sprong's playing well in that top six. Let me know what you guys think and uh, comment what you guys think. Have a great day and uh, you got to help me and Julio out here because we're struggling as GMs out here for the Sens. We're 2-4-1. Hopefully you can bounce back next episode.